Well, my good friend, we're just sitting here chatting up between ourselves. Dr. Linda Neeson is here from KCU Joplin, the dental school, just about a month away from opening. But guess what? They are getting ready to have their opening to show the public what it yes. looks like. You guys are a week away. I know we're talking about dental anxiety. <laughs> we're going to get to that, but less than a week away, honestly, Dr. Neeson. The ribbon cutting is next Monday at 4 o'clock, and we, you know, Anyone who wants to come, it's open to the public. After we cut the ribbon, we will give tours and take people through to show them our new dental home. I love that. I love that. That it, People have been so excited and they've been hearing about this and, and everything else. We've been talking about it for almost a year. Yes. You all have been in the yes. planning stages putting all the finishing touches on it. So what a great time to welcome everybody it, in. It's very exciting. You know, our faculty has been building the curriculum. The, we, you, everybody's watched the building yes. go up oh, yeah. in the last two years. So we're very excited to be in it, uh, to be re we're ready for students and we're almost ready for patients. Not, not quite. We almost just have a there. few finishing touches uh, before we're ready to uh, open to the public for dental care. Well, don't forget, you can go next Monday if you want to check it out yourself. Now, let's talk about dental anxiety because lots of people have this. I mean, oh, yes. honestly. Oh, yes. 40 million people in the <laughs> yes, U.S. Exactly. suffer from some level of dental anxiety. Honestly, it can just feel <laughs> like it's building even when you know you have to go to the dentist. That's true. And, and it's interesting. It manifests from like little anxiety to really big anxiety to you'll make the appointment but you have so much anxiety you don't keep the appointment so if you have dental anxiety you know talk to your dentist talk to your hygienist you're not the only person that's been afraid to come to us we're we're used to uh, people who are afraid so what are some things that we can do if we do have dental anxiety to try to make it have less of it or to prepare ourselves for our visit so what I always say to patients what do you do when you have anxiety in general? You know, if you, you know, if you're the person, you know, afraid of doing something, how do you overcome that? Is it deep breathing? Is it a relaxation? Is it a meditation? Um, we use in the office, we often use distraction, you know, put music. headphones on, yeah. listen to music, listen to a book on uh, audio. Uh, we, some offices have aromatherapy, you know, they have different smells that relax you, like lavender. Yes, is supposedly. calming Yes, things. exactly. <laughs> There's, there's even a few dental offices out there on the edge that have therapy animals. You know, the therapy wow. dog. That would, that's fun. <laughs> yes, that's fun. That might be a little too distracting. It's, but like you said, it's find the things that yeah. help bring you some yes. comfort yes. and calm. Yes, that's exactly right. And, and yeah. like you said, just being honest, having an open, honest conversation with your dentist or your hygienist. Yes. And, and the other thing is, you know, if you're a parent and you're afraid, be careful you don't transfer that to your child. Children don't grow up being afraid of the dentist. They, they don't have any expectations. Oh, we're going to go to the dentist. Um, until they hear somebody say, oh, you're going to get a shot. The shot won't hurt. And then all of a sudden the language, it's like, a shot, what's that? That's scary. It won't hurt. Why are they telling me it won't hurt? Or the cavities or yeah, the yeah. fillings. Yeah. So, yes. so be careful as a parent with the language. You know, we're going to go to the dentist. It's going to keep you healthy. Uh, we're going to count your teeth. We're going to clean your teeth. Um, we're going to prevent um, any kind of disease. So be careful how we yeah. talk about that as well. Exactly. Dr. Neeson, we always love having you here. Thanks oh. so much oh. for being here. And again, what time is the ribbon cutting next Monday? Ribbon cutting next Monday, June 26th at 4 p.m. So welcome. Everybody is welcome. If you want to go after that for the public open house, you are welcome to do so. We would welcome everyone. Yes, we can't wait to see inside. And we'll be showing you sites from it uh, next Monday here on local news as well. Dr. Neeson, thanks so much. Oh, thank you. I